So this, this is a show of some of my current work. Some of that work has been in development for 15, 20 years, like this piece here started its life in 2005, I think. And uh, as it goes on, every time we, we show it, I change things, I change the rules a little bit, take some of the images out, put some new ones in. And it's, of course, it never repeats. So what, what is showing there now will never be seen again, maybe in four billion years. But we're only on for three months, so I don't think it will be seen again here. <laughs> I went to art school and I studied painting at art school, but I started working with light in, in 1967. So I started to think about painting as something that moved, not as something that is still. So I was trying, always trying to make moving pictures. And when I left art college, like many people in England who leave art college, I joined a band and moved into music. But then I discovered that I wanted to make music that was more like a painting, still music. Not, not music that was a sort of adventure with a narrative, but music that, had a, that was like a place that you could go to. The important story of the history of music in the last 50 years of the last century up until today has been a history of the development of sound as a language. A classical friend of mine said to me once in a very sniffy mood, he said, well, of course, nothing in pop music is, uh, is more original than what classical music had achieved in 1830. What he didn't notice was that what pop music did was expanded the language of sound incredibly that's that's the effect of electronics so suddenly we are all sound painters actually that's that's a lot of what pop music is it's sound painting about a few years ago i started to think it's amazing how we've done all this sound painting but it's a bit sad that it still comes out of two loudspeakers you know all of that incredible exploration ends up coming out of two loudspeakers so I thought, why aren't we exploring space as well? Why aren't we working in three dimensions, working all around us? So then I started to think about music as a sculptural experience. I loved the experience of being in churches. I loved the sense of a place that was that existed to give you space to think. We tend to operate at high speed most of the time, which is fine, I like being at high speed some of the time. <laughs> um, but some of the time I want to actually sit and watch myself thinking, or sometimes I don't even want to think at all. So the idea of generative art is, is the idea of thinking of an artwork as the beginning of a process rather than the end of a process. So if you think of a classical symphony, once Beethoven has signed off on the score, it's a finished piece. I want to think of my work as the beginning of something. So I set some conditions and rules and sounds and then I let the piece make itself. It's like the difference between architecture and gardening. I'm not an architect, I'm a gardener. I plant some seeds and then I watch them grow. So this, this is a garden growing here. And every time I turn around, there's different flowers. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 